with the holidays coming up, people being more inclined to board their dogs as they go on vacation, as they go see family, I am worried about it getting much worse. So that's veterinarian Dr. Lindsay Ganser speaking about a mysterious illness appearing in dogs. Veterinary laboratories in several states now investigating this unusual respiratory illness. So if you like me and you love, love, love your dog, you might worry, is this mysterious dog illness in Jacksonville? I found out today the answer is yes, but don't panic. I talked with local veterinarian Dr. Cameron Jones and her colleagues are seeing cases in Georgia and North Florida and she has had two in the last five days. There's no need to panic when we see that both of these dogs are doing well and are at home on medication. Now she says regular antibiotics are not working in these cases, but stronger medicine is working. So how do you protect your dog? More advice from Dr. Jones in just a second. But first, what's the concern around the country right now with this mysterious illness in dogs? Here's John Maroney. You want to go for a walk? Oh, you'd pick up on the respiratory thing for sure. His hands full with Eva Baxter and Tilly. Ross Mata was now watching for signs of a respiratory illness that's making dogs in other parts of the country sick. I hope it doesn't come this way. We got our hands full enough with Lyme, you know. The potentially fatal condition has been reported in a number of states. In Oregon, warnings have been issued after dogs that became sick failed to test positive for the typical causes of respiratory illness. We're not seeing anything different than normal, so we've got it on our radar, of course, to be very vigilant. Oh, my Peter. Dr. Aaron Doyle is VP of Veterinary Medicine at the Animal Rescue League of Boston. Come here, let's listen to you again, Peter. She says respiratory illnesses are common in canines and either go away on their own or are easily treated with medicine. She says owners should always monitor the health of their animals. Coughing, sneezing, runny nose, similar to what you would see for a cold in people. And so that's what folks should watch out for in their own pets. There you go. So back now to our local veterinarian, Dr. Jones. Maybe you're wondering this too. Of course, I love my dog. <laughs> and right away when I hear this on the news, I'm like, oh my gosh, is he okay? What? signs, what symptoms do people need to watch out for and how fast should they bring their dog to a veterinarian? Okay, that's a great question because honestly, this is what I want my clients to know is if your dog is suddenly lethargic, um, doesn't want to eat, then those are things that I wouldn't wait more than a day to at least have it checked out. Now, Dr. Jones says if there's a mild cough, it's not really urgent, but do check in with the veterinarian. And what about the holidays? Boarding your dog if you're going to travel, playing in the dog parks, grooming your dog? All of these situations are going to involve dogs being in an open area with cages that have an open front. They're going to be barking, and that's how respiratory diseases are spread. So I would say that those situations are higher risk. However, it's no reason to not go on vacation or not board your dog. But she says, make sure you ask the place that you take your dog, do you require vaccinations and how do you verify that? Which vaccinations should you make sure that your dog has to protect against this new mystery illness? I think the most important thing is your traditional respiratory vaccine, such as Bordetella. Uh, flu virus uh, vaccination is another layer of protection that I would want for my dog right now. Now, you may have noticed just now, she said flu vaccines, and I'm going, I didn't even know dogs got flu shots. Dr. Jones says typically they don't, but ask your vet if it's a good idea right now for your dog to have a canine flu vaccine. And one more thing, this is not COVID in dogs. I asked Dr. Jones to make sure it's not COVID in dogs, and we did check with the Jacksonville Humane Society. No cases there right now.